بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ولا اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما اللهم لا سهلا لما شئت جلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا اللهم من أرادنا وراد الإسلام والمسلمين بسوء فجعل كيده في نحره واشغله بنفسه اللهم آمين Praise be to Allah the Lord of the words and peace be upon all his messengers from Adam down to the last one Muhammad peace be upon them all um, Today inshallah we will start uh, a new uh, surah that's Surat Al-Insan. And I read um, some uh, verses actually here in this speech. We have only three uh, verses. We'll read them and I will uh, read the translation after that. Then we'll come to the uh, tafsir uh, later, inshallah. Just you can repeat after me. A'udhu billahi min shaytan rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل أتى على الإنسان حين من الدهر لم يكن شيئا مذكورا هل أتى على الإنسان حين من الدهر لم يكن شيئا مذكورا Listen to me carefully هل أتى على الإنسان حين من الدهر لم يكن شيئا مذكورا مذكورا إنا خلقنا الإنسان من نطفة أمشاج نبتليه خلقنا الإنسان من نطفة أمشاج نبتليه فجعلناه سميعا بصيرا إنا هديناه السبيل إما شاكرا وإما كفورا Okay, that's great. Now, uh, the uh, translation of these verses can be read as um, Has there not been of a man a period of time when he was not a thing worth mentioning. For really, we have created man from Notfa Amshaj in order to try him. So we made him hearer and seer. Verily, we guided him to the way, whether he grateful or ungrateful. Now this is the meaning of these verses. Uh, we will come to the to more details about um, these verses. Allah created man after he didn't exist. Allah informs that he brought man into existence after he was not even a thing worth mentioning. Is that if we come back to the origin of human beings, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam from nothing, from dust, from dust. Then he created Eve from the rib of Adam. So he created Eve from father, no mother. Then he created from Adam and his wife Eve, uh, their children. And we are from the children of Adam, okay? We are just uh, uh, from father and mother. The original creation that no father, no mother, that's the case of Adam. And father, no mother, that's the case of our mother, Abe. And then mother, no father, that's the case of Jesus, peace be upon him. And father and mother, that's the case of every one of us. Okay, these are four forms 
of creation. Yes, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created man from um, this origin, from Adam, then from, from father and mother. Um, and human being, man, was nothing worth mentioning because of his loneliness and weakness. Allah says, هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْرِ هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا مَذْكُورًا Please, just when you read, read the Quran exactly as it is, okay? Um, so, has there not been offered man a period of time when he was not a thing worth mentioning? إِنَّا خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِن نُطْفَةٍ أَمْشَاجًا Verily, we have created man from nutfa, amshaj. The meaning of uh, mashaj and the meaning of mashij is that it is mixed. It is mixed. Okay? Mixed together. Ibn Abbas um, said regarding this, min nutfatin amchaj, from nutfa amchaj. Um, he said, the fluid of the man and the fluid of woman, okay, of the woman, when they meet and mix. So these two fluids from man and woman, uh, when these two fluids uh, mix it together, amshaj and uh, nutfa um, uh, start there. Then man changed after this from stage to stage. Okay, after this beginning, that as we, if you remember, uh, at the end of Surah Al Qiyamah, we mentioned that alaysa dalika bikadna ala an. But before that, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he created from uh, both man and uh, woman, uh, the, two, the two sexes, uh, the male and male. And the origin of them is sperm, okay? The sperm from man with the ova of woman, when they come together, the, the life of a new creation starts there. Allah says here, مُنُطْفَةٍ أَمْشَاجٍ نَبْتَلِي From stage to stage, condition to condition, and color to color. This is, these are the um, stages that um, a man passes through in this period of time, in this, um, in Nutfa, in the age of Nutfa and Amshaj. Um, Ikrama al Hassan and some other uh, interpreters of the Quran um, said Amshaj is mixing of the man's fluid with the woman's fluid. Now, if we come to um, this and see it from a scientific point of view, new uh, scholars and new uh, scientists. Said the sea, yes, that um, there are what they call chromosomes and the sperms of the man and uh, in the ova of the woman. And when the fluid of man um, meet the ova and the fluid of the woman, these chromosomes come together and amshaj, okay, start, not fa, stage to stage, condition to condition, color to color, and so on, okay? Even uh, new uh, scientific um, or new science um, uh, says that uh, there are uh, the chromosomes 
carry um, the, the type of the creation. This is with the will of Allah, whether um, the, the, the human being will be male or female, because if a Muslim, which is why from man, uh, meets uh, the, the ova, then it's expected that the baby will be male. If it is X meets another X of uh, the woman, then it's expected that the baby will be uh, uh, female. Yes, yes. So these uh, types of amshaj, notf, and so on, um, are things mentioned in the Quran that Allah reminds us of our origin. That from nothing, nothing worth mentioning. Nothing worth mentioning. Just Floyd. Floyd and so on. Allah uh, mentioned that in Surah Yasin. Uh, that a human being is created from Nutfa. Yes. And then after that, this human being becomes um, arrogant, becomes um, something against Allah's will, against Allah's revelation, against Allah's message. And at the end, um, to disappear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Nabtali. Um, خلقنا الإنسان من نطفة أمشاج نبتلي in order to try him means we test him and this is mentioned also in سورة الملك لنبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا yes that he may test you which of you is best indeed yes this is the purpose of creation just a test to do good will good deeds or to do bad deeds no one is obliged to do any of this. It's everyone's choice to do that. فَجَعَلْنَاهُ سَمِيعًا بَصِيرًا So we made him hearer and seer. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala equipped a human being with faculties of hearing and sight in order um, so that he would be able to use them to obey Allah or to disobey Allah. Yes, to use them in uh, obedience or disobedience. Yes. Allah guided uh, him to the path so a man is either grateful or ungrateful. Inna hadaynahu as Verily, we guided him to the way. There is a mistake here. It is wrong um, in this way. Uh, verily, we guided to him the way. This is wrong. This is wrong. Just put it the other way around. We guided him to the way. This is the meaning. Got it? Oh, no, this is page 285. It is missing. On all of you? Okay. Okay, just listen to me. And when you get it later, you can correct it. So the meaning of inna hadayna hussabil, fairly we guided him to the way. Meaning, we explained it to him, made it clear to him, and um, showed it to him. This is as Allah says, وَأَمَّا ثَمُودُ فَهَدَيْنَاهُمْ فَاسْتَحَبُّوا الْعَمَى عَلَى الْهُدَى وَأَمَّا ثَمُودُ فَهَدَيْنَاهُمْ فَاسْتَحَبُّوا الْعَمَى عَلَى الْهُدَى سبحان الله العظيم Allah says And as for Thamud We guided them But they preferred blindness to guidance And instead of following Allah's guidance They preferred blindness to guidance Okay Allah <coughs> says, وَهَدَيْنَاهُ النَّجْدَيْنِ وَهَدَيْنَاهُ النَّجْدَيْنِ And we guided him to the two ways. To the two ways. We explained to him the path of good 
and the path of evil. So it is clear for every one of us the path of good and the path of evil. So, and we have free choice. And we have free choice. Everyone can follow this or that. It's up to every one of us. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't leave us astray. Allah didn't leave us without guidance. Guidance is with us, the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet. And um, we are free to follow or to reject, to obey or to disobey. Yes. Imma <clears> shakiran wa imma kafura. Whether he be grateful or ungrateful. This is his decree. Thus, with this he is either rich or happy. This is like what has been recorded by Muslim in uh, hadith. The Prophet وسلم, said, كل الناس يغدو فبائع نفسه فموبقها أو معتقها. All of mankind wakes up in the morning, the merchant of his own soul. So he either imprisons it or sets it free. Yes, it's up to everyone. Um, so as we can see in these. Uh, verses that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed every human being the right way and the wrong way. Uh, the the, the uh, path of good and the path of evil. Okay? So everyone is free to follow. Even those um, who will reject and uh, will come on the day of judgment saying well just we followed our uh, fathers and so on and grandfathers Allah mentioned already that in the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took from Adam his children and he made them to witness Saying, Allah said, Am I not your Lord? Alastu bi rabbikum? They said, Yes. So already every human being bear witness that there is only one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and He is our Lord. So in the day of judgment, nobody can say, Well, I'm not aware of this. Least in the day of judgment that you would say, um, You are not aware of this. And taqulu yawm al-qiyamati inna kunna an hadha ghafileen. They were not aware of this. So these verses um, tell something like this about the creation of human being. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided um, or told us about the good or the path of good and the path of evil. Now we will stop here inshallah. Hadha wallahu alam. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين